You may have passed this parking structure on Liberty and 3rd, but it used to be Washington Spraitling's barbershop connecting people to the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad, it's not a real railroad, of course, but it's a great metaphor. And if you look at that, then you realize that Louisville is sort of Grand Central Station. Heather Gottlieb, the manager of educational partnerships and volunteers at the Fraser History Museum, told me centuries of research and legal documents prove the dangerous route to freedom for many enslaved people in the South crossed through Louisville and southern Indiana. Louisville had a really interesting role in that it was right on the border between slave states and free states in the north and the south. This clock face used to tower over New Albany at 3rd and Main. It was reportedly a sign of the safe haven resources that the town clock church provided freedom seekers. Back across the river, if you passed Main Street and 4th Street in downtown Louisville, there's this plaque honoring Thornton and Lucy Blackburn. The trailblazing couple were slaves in Louisville back in the 1800s, then they escaped to Michigan to avoid being sold again. They took this harrowing journey. They actually left from the Belle of Louisville dock at 3rd Street. There are no photos of what this dock used to look like back then, and despite the lack of photos of the Blackburns, many artists and historians have imagined what they may have looked like in books like these. Gottlieb says someone recognized the former slaves months after they arrived in Michigan and alerted their Louisville owners. The couple then fled to Canada, and the courts ruled that the Blackburns were legally free people. So in that way, Canada sort of became the goal at the end of the Underground Railroad, because once you were there, you were free. And it's all because of this couple from Louisville, Kentucky. And I think that's such an amazing and international story. Marvis Herring, WLKY 